Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table is just a little bit of info that I received that, I don't know, I, it may or may not be useful to you. Um, it's about uh, using smart devices and aircraft's compasses. Uh, but before we have a look at that, it, uh, it's The Kitchen Table. We always have a beverage when discussing our drones. And today, just to try and keep me going, it's been one of those days, I'm afraid I'm on the coffee, so... Uh, Cheers. Mm. Right. Um, yes, so I found out from someone who is um, very, very experienced in the field of remote controlled aircraft, uh, remote control helicopters, remote control multi rotors. Very experienced, builds them, mods them, designs them. We're not talking someone who doesn't know what they're doing, okay? Um, just anecdotally mentioned that had a new one and was trying to uh, calibrate the compass. Couldn't do it, wouldn't take. Um, never happened to him before, didn't understand it. Tried to sort of, as an engineer, try to think about what's different today than it was, you know, the last time he tried. And he realised that he very, very recently started to wear a Fitbit one of those activity tracking devices that's linked to your smartphone by low energy Bluetooth, um, sort of on a permanent basis and, uh, you know, tells you whether you've hit your 10,000 steps or whether you're sleeping soundly or not, that kind of thing. Um, so he took it off, put it, you know, several feet away, did the calibration again, absolutely fine. Um, then came out later the same day to try and replicate it couldn't actually get his compass to calibrate wearing his Fitbit. Took it off, calibrated. Now that had him kind of slightly puzzled and me too, because obviously low energy Bluetooth, these things use, and same as this, this is a Pebble Time smartwatch. If you've got an, and, uh, the, um, an Android Wear device or any of the other fitness trackers or uh, Apple smartwatches, you know, these all use low energy Bluetooth to make a permanent link with your, with your phone. Um, that's the idea of them. Um, some of them do have magnets. The Pebble Time, for example, on the back has two small magnets where you attach the charging cable. Kind of a, you know, it's a magnetic locating uh, thing that it holds it in place. So I can see how that would certainly affect it. But as far as I'm aware, there, there must be something else in a, in a Fitbit that does it. So it was just really a heads up to say, if you do have a wearable which is, I believe, what the cool kids call them. If you do have a wearable, um, have you noticed anything? Have you kind of had some hit and miss things with your compass calibration? I, I'm normally pretty good when I calibrate my compass. I leave my phone and my keys and everything else just out of the way. It's just a habit I've got into from day one. Um, must admit though, I hadn't thought about this and I haven't encountered any issues, but, and here's a big but, those of you who've been watching for a while will know that mm, for me personally, I'm not a big fan of calibrating the compass every single flight. Certainly if you've flown there you know, before, I'm much more of an advocate of keeping a good calibration locked in and popping it up into a hover and checking out that the hover's good first. That's just me and maybe we'll do a video about that in more detail again if you want to know why, but that's just me. So it'd be very interesting to see if I can replicate it. I've just had this sort of information so I haven't had a chance to do it. Can anybody let me know, have you had issues with compass errors, calibrating your aircraft, and it's been tracked back to a piece of gadgetry you've had? Um, let's see if it's, it's something that's just the Fitbit. Is it magnets? Is it low energy Bluetooth? I don't know. But I think it's just one more thing to keep in mind. Um, we want to keep everything going in, in a nice straight direction and don't want anything kind of flying off in, over the horizon. So you might want to just keep that in mind now. If you wear, have a wearable, fitness track or anything like that maybe it's something to kind of put into standby mode or at least just take off for the for the time that you're going to be using it near the near the compass i guess it also depends if you wear it on your left or right wrist and whether you'll be doing the calibration with your left or right hand whether you hold it like this any if you've had any uh, similar uh, instances can you let us know in the comments below uh, it'd be interesting to see if that's just a, a one-off thing or or something that we all need to be aware of as more and more of these kind of wearable smart devices come into uh, into play. That was it really, just something really interesting I thought that hadn't kind of crossed over my, I haven't seen anyone else 
talking about that. So uh, another thing to add to the, to the list of pre-flight checks, maybe. Let me know. Let me know of your experiences. That was it. Um, and I'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Until then, cheers.